Now we will talk about the efficiency of a transformer. So efficiency of the transformer is defined as the ratio of output power to the input power. So secondary is the output power ES divided into IS divided by IP, EP into IP. The efficiency is given by is equal to 1 indicated 100% only applicable for the ideal transformer where there is no power loss. But practically there are numerous factors leading to the energy loss in a transformer and hence the efficiency is always less than 1. It should be less than 1. What are the losses? The first loss is an energy losses is considered as stress loss. What is it? The repeated magnetization and demagnetization of the ion core caused by the alternative input current produces a loss in energy that's called hysteresis loss. This loss can be minimized by using a core with a material having the least hysteresis loss. Alloys like metal and silicon steel are used to reduce the hysteresis loss. We will talk about the copper loss. The current flowing through the primary and secondary windings lead to joule heating effect. Automatically it will be heat. There will be a heat. Hence some energy is lost in the form of heat. Thick wires with a considerably low resistance are used to minimize this loss. The other loss is due to the eddy current loss or ion loss. Since the varying magnetic flux produces eddy current in the core, this leads to the wastage of energy in the form of heat. This loss is minimized by using a laminated core made of stelloy, an alloy of steel. You are able to see, while pressing it, you are able to see there are a lot of eddy current is created. This is nothing but your eddy current, an opposing current or a wastage of heat generated which has become a different current that's eddy current. Now we will talk about the flux loss. The flux produced in the primary coil is completely linked, not, it's not completely linked with the secondary coil due to leakage. We are able to see there is a leakage here. This result in the loss of energy, this loss can be minimized by using a shell type core. In addition to the above losses due to the vibration of the core, sound is produced which causes a loss in the energy.